Valmatic has been making quarter turn valves for over 20 years. Today we will talk about how they are used in the waterworks industry and some of the differences between the types of quarter turn valves that are produced. We'll look at butterfly valves, plug valves. We've been making these for over 20 years. A few years ago we started making an Awa ball valve. We don't make gate valves, but they are commonly used with fire hydrants. And there's also a valve called a knife gate valve, which is used in wastewater. Shown in the picture are our three-way plug valves installed in a system in Hawaii. First, we'll talk about the butterfly valve, which is considered a lightweight valve because the body is pretty narrow. It can only be used on clean water because the shaft and the disc are in the flow stream and would collect debris if it was used in sewage. It has a resilient seat or rubber seat, which means that when that valve is closed under full operating pressure, there is no leakage. Because of its dynamic nature, the valve has very low head loss and with an actuator mounted on it as shown, they're easy to operate. Butterfly valves are considered economical, especially in larger sizes, as opposed to a gate valve. They have good flow characteristics also and can help control flow. On the right, you can see specialized butterfly valves can be made for chemical service with Teflon lining. Valmatic valves feature the tri-lock seating system. In the tri-lock system, there are three modes that help retain the rubber seat on the disc. The first is the compression of the seat retaining ring. The second are the registers or lips on that ring and as part of the disc. And the third is the cap screw bolts pass through the rubber into the disc to prevent the rubber from blowing out of the disc. About three years ago, we started making very large butterfly valves with welded seats for Central Arizona Power Project, as shown here. The valve is unusual in that it has a welded seat, and it also is operated by a cylinder without an actuator. Some of the competition who make butterfly valves include Pratt, DeZurich, m &H, and Crispin. All butterfly valves look pretty much the same, but you can see that the actuators vary somewhat and the shape of the disc vary a little bit. The next type of shutoff valve we'll talk about is the plug valve. Valmatic started making the plug valve about 25 years ago. It's made out of iron or steel. What makes a plug valve a plug valve is that the closure member is a cast iron plug completely encapsulated with rubber. And when that plug rotates 90 degrees and closes against the nickel seat in the valve, it produces a tight shutoff, even for wastewater service. We make a new version of that called the F series, which has a full 100% port to have less head loss, it makes the valve more efficient and less prone for clogging in wastewater service. This illustrates how the ports are shaped on our two type of valves. The traditional valve, the 80% port, has that red oblong port and not um, full flow area. The new 100% port or the F-series valve has a rectangular port, hence more area, so it operates more efficiently. Also, the body on the left has a clear opening so that it drains better on sewage and will not clog. Valmatic also makes the plug valve in a three-way configuration. A three-way valve has an inlet and outlet like a two-way valve, but it has a third port like a pipe T so that you can divert water or sewage from one port to the left or to the right out of the valve. This is often used when you need to backwash a filter. Here's an example of a very large 48 inch plug valve being mounted in a trench. Similar size valve mounted in a valve vault. You can see plug valves are usually mounted on their side so that when the valve opens, the plug is on the top and it does not get filled with sewage. The third type of shutoff valve we want to talk about are ball valves. 
I think we all have ball valves in our house down by our water softener as shown in the upper left. The one on the lower left is a traditional three-piece ball valve and the one on the right is our new two-piece design which we released about six years ago. Here's that small little ball valve. A ball valve is like a perfect valve because when it's full open, it has a clear pipe flow through the valve. They seal tight and they, because they have an upstream seat and a downstream seat, they can control flow very effectively. The Valmatic ball valve has 100% flow area like most ball valves do. We can make it with double seats, a seat on each end so that it seals tightly in both directions. Our valve comes standard with fusion bonded epoxy coating, which is a great selling feature in the industry. And like the butterfly valve, it has tri-lock seats. The tri-lock seat consists of three elements that help retain the rubber. There's a clamp force between the seat retaining ring and the ball. The bolts, the cap screws, go through the rubber, which help retain the rubber. And finally, there's machined registers on both the seat retaining ring and the ball to prevent the rubber from sliding out of its slot. The valve seat is easily adjustable by simply tightening the screws with a torque wrench. This illustrates how we can put a seat on one end or both ends, depending on how the customer wants the valve to seal in the field. We make a unique quadrosphere ball valve for the industrial markets, such as oil and gas. These are used in the oil fields up in Canada quite frequently. The valve is called the quadrosphere because the contour of the ball allow flow to go around four sides of the ball as it's in motion. This keeps the valve clean and it's ideal for dirty fluids which is a very unique solution to problems in the industry. On the left is an example of a ball valve used on pump discharge service with one of our stainless steel cylinders. On the right are some large ball valves that went to Texas, which have hydraulic actuators mounted to them. Here's a ball valve on pump discharge, but it has an electric motor on it called a CPOS produced by Alma. This is a very specialized motor that has an adjustable operating time to carefully control the change in velocities in the pipeline to prevent surges in the customer's distribution system. Some of the competition of the ball valves is Pratt on the upper right, DeZurich on the lower right, and the bottom middle is Golden Anderson or GA Industries, which makes a one-piece ball very big and expensive ball valve. To go along and operate the quarter turn valves, you need an actuator. The purpose of an actuator is to convert many turns of operation on a hand wheel or nut and convert that to a very powerful quarter turn force to operate the valve. Valmatic makes the small slotted lever types for the 3 to 24 inch butterfly valve. And then over to the right are the large link and lever actuators for larger butterfly valves. These valves have some unique features in that they have external adjustable stops, which makes it easy to adjust in our factory or in the field. And they're also equipped with a special motor flange so that a motor can be mounted to them easily in the field. The third type of shutoff valve is a gate valve. Gate valves are considered economically kind of a commodity valve that you can buy at the local hardware store. They often are fusion bonded epoxy. They're used with backflow pre preventers as shown here and usually with almost every fire hydrant that are mounted below ground next to the fire hydrant. Here's a metal seated version of a gate valve. It's interesting that you cannot use a gate valve to control flow because the gate slides up and down in a slot kind of loosely and they would vibrate if you tried to throttle flow with them. Because of those slots, they probably should not be used for wastewater as well. Gate valves can become quite large. Here's a 108 inch gate valve for a Texas project. Gate valves also come, kind of look like a plug valve. They have a rubber coated gate that goes up and down 
and these can be used for wastewater but once again never for throttling the flow. As I said they're commonly used next to a fire hydrant. The last type of shutoff valve is a knife gate valve. It's called a knife gate because the gate goes up and down and the gate actually looks like a knife edge and will cut, cut through debris as the valve closes. They're a difficult valve to maintain. The packing leaks quite a bit, but they are used pretty much on low pressure wastewater service because they're an economical solution. We hope you enjoyed learning about our shutoff valves.